This is a uh, Adele Faraz property. I'm in the backyard. We're doing a quote for a cleanup and then possible bi-weekly maintenance for front and backyard. Um, the lawns are um, in pretty rough condition right now, but we're gonna mow everything here. These agave plants are coming over from the neighbor's property, so we're gonna uh, cut them all the way down, remove them so that they're not um, impeding with the sprinkler for the lawn. Uh, there's a broken sprinkler over there and there are eight nozzles that are not spraying equally so we need to replace the no eight nozzles, one broken sprinkler, um, some weeds in here. There's a bunch of volunteers coming through. Looks like at some point the neighbors had a purple robe tree over there and from the roots of that tree we have a bunch of um, volunteers coming in. So I explained to the tenant that we are going to um, knock down all of these little volunteers popping up but they will continue to come up. The only way to deal with them is with regular recurring maintenance, just as they're little when they come up, just spraying them. That's the only thing you can do, is just to spray them to kill them off as they come up. And then a thick lawn will also help with that. Um, so for the cleanup, we are gonna knock all these down. They are gonna come back, just keep that in mind. Uh, just rake out all the debris here. It doesn't need a lot of pruning, but just uh, this lemon tree, some branches are kind of coming over. We need to prune the ones that are leaning over. That tree is dead. We're going to do a quote to remove that one. We didn't have to remove this one, but my guess is it's going to be the same as that tree. Pretty soon it's going to die too. But um, we'll do a quote for removing one tree and then we'll do a quote for removing the other. They're going to be the same price. They're the same size. Um, so for the cleanup, yeah, mow the lawns, get rid of the volunteers, some light pruning. All these we're going to knock down with the weed whacker. This area here, the sprinklers do work, but... Um, it's just mostly used as storage. Let's see. Actually, wait a second. Oh no, the sprinklers don't spray here. That's right. They only, they only, they stop spraying right there. I didn't see any sprinklers here. That was my mistake. Okay. So the sprinklers are this way. This is just mostly like a planter bed. Needs to be maintained. Um, the valves were really hard to turn on in the back. It's a in-ground valves, which they they seem to work okay, but. Um, if we do have ever need to do any work on those valves in the future, we're pretty much going to have to replace the whole box over there just because it was installed in ground, so it's not very easy to maintain it. So we're going to prune these shrubs just to tidy it up, get all these leaves out of here for the cleanup. There's some weeds right there. We're going to clean those out. Um, some regular pruning. You can see some grass is starting to grow into these plants. We'll use a string trimmer to knock all of that back uh, down to about two inches, and then we'll spray whatever weeds are left over. Um, there are one, two, three uh, spray nozzles that need to be placed here. So eight in the back, three in front, total of 11. So just prune this. This tree, we're not doing anything with this tree. Um, rake out the leaves. One of the valves, so it's this one right here, is leaking. So it's the drip valve right here. I'll turn it on just to show where the leak is. There's the leak, so that's just... Um, leaking constantly, so we need to replace this valve. Ouch. Okay, these these are fine. Okay, and that's it. That's it for the cleanup and for bi-weekly maintenance. We'll send a quote.